Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba and begin a new chapter among the nations of the Americas. Every artist begs for like a moment in time where people are paying attention to you. And when it actually gets to you, you have to seize the moment because it's not going to happen again. When I started, music was kind of be globalized, but there was no thing that sounded like a global band. And I think Major Lazer became that sort of band. Down that road. I just knew that if Diplo was coming here, it had to be a special event. You don't know what they know. All you know is that they like things that everybody else likes. They can try to hold me down, but I am. Cuba is far, far behind in access to the internet. Diplo's biggest concern, figure out how we're going to get people the music. Me gusta dar información que no pueden obtener tan fácil. Todo el mundo en Estados Unidos, en cualquier parte del mundo, tiene derecho a la información. Nosotros somos piratas, estamos claros. I'm going to get it right. It's the first Cuban-American produced concert of this scale. So there's a lot of improvisation here. They think there's going to be 400,000 people here. And they've been here since 2 a.m. This is huge. I don't want to pull the plug on this show myself. This is insane. Siento que vivo en una ciudad detenida en el tiempo, lento en su movimiento, y es por eso que me gusta tanto la música electrónica. Siento que no me estoy deteniendo tanto en el tiempo, pues me regala futuro. <risa>